dude, I'm blown away. Like, I'm really blown away. It's so tasty. It's so filling. But for a breakfast, <laughs> it's like... It's a king's breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here coming at you from beautiful Seoul, South Korea. Today I'm super excited because I'm taking the KTX, the Korean Express train or the bullet train all the way down to Busan, the second largest city. The bullet train started service in the year 2004 and it travels 190 miles per hour. We're gonna be going economy class today, so we're gonna give you an economy class review. And yeah, we're starting it right here in Seoul Station, obviously. This is the number one station in the country. We're gonna go look for some food and get on the train. Are you guys ready? I'm excited, let's do this. It's so early, I thought we weren't gonna be able to get any food. There's actually a lady right here and she's selling hand rolls, hand rolls, look at this. Wow, and she also has some, like some mochis. I mean, there's a lot of different things here. Let's get a few of these and go in inside. So this is the gimbap hand roll. Oh my God, guys, I love hand rolls. It looks like it's coated in sesame seeds too, dude. Oh man. Oh, look at that, it's got an egg. I'm just gonna pull a piece off. Crazy. Look at that. Oh, dude, it's Jack. This is the best breakfast ever. I know, and for 2001, it's like less than two bucks, dude. Mmm. Couldn't have asked for a better breakfast at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> I know. It actually has a good amount of rice, and it's just like vegetables. I think there's egg, it's, there's some pork. It's too good. It's too good. Mm. It's too good. This is the perfect way to start the day. Nice snack. I think inside I'm gonna have to get a coffee though because if not, I'm not gonna be able to survive the two yeah. hours on the train. The day doesn't start until you have had a cup of coffee. Yeah, <laughs> I, I might sleep on the train, maybe not. Yeah, we'll I see. I don't know, once I get on there, let's see how animal class is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so once you walk into Seoul Station, the first level is more grab and go kind of shops. You've got like Dunkin' Donuts, convenience stores and whatnot. But if you head up to the other level, the second level, that's where you have more restaurants and other things that where you can relax, grab a bite to eat, yeah, I don't think we're gonna do that. We don't have time, but uh, we'll probably get something on the ground level. Especially if you're gonna travel on the bullet train on the weekends, is booking your ticket at least like four or five days in advance. Dude, mm. we could grab like the last one. Yeah, so we, we booked our train ticket two days ago when we checked. There was, you know, we're going at six in the morning. The yeah. only reason we're going at six in the morning is because there was nothing until like four in the afternoon, yeah. and we would have missed the entire day yeah, in Busan. Yeah. So no point in doing that, so definitely try to get your ticket early. Yeah. And this ticket is of the economy class, let's see the price. Yeah, so 59,800, which is basically like 60 bucks. Yeah, maybe a little bit cheaper, more like 55 bucks, so. So I'd say it's like price, half man. the price of the bullet train in uh, the Shinkansen in Japan. Yeah, Over there, it's, it's really expensive. This is half price, it's affordable. I mean, this is way cheaper than trying to book a plane ticket, right? Oh yeah, and it's just, it's more efficient too. Like you don't have to go through all the security and all that, you just get to the station, get on the train, you're good to go. Seoul Station is the largest station in all of South Korea. It's not a huge station like you get in Japan or China, you know, Tokyo, Kyoto, those are humongous stations with so many platforms. Here it's very easy. As you can see, this one huge hallway, right? A lot of space in between the tickets, resting area, and then all the retails on the left. Upstairs, obviously, you have the fast food, you know, restaurants. And then over here, you have convenience stores like Storyway. And then you have the tracks, and there's, I think there's like 15 tracks, yeah. and our track is track number four. We depart in like 15 minutes, so we still have some time. Let's go get something in the convenience store. Yeah, it's, it's basically grab and go options here, man. Yeah, that's, grab that's the culture, grab and go. Grab and and go. I, I like this, I mean, it's not so many people. No. There's a lot of space, and yeah. get here early. 15, like 20 people in line, we just don't really have the time, man. You know what? We'll get on the train, get some sleep, and we'll grab something to eat in Busan. So it's pretty amazing. The trains are delayed by zero seconds, like yeah. zero minutes, zero, minutes zero across, seconds. Across the board, man. At 6.05 on the dot, the train leaves. Crazy. So don't be late for your train. Don't they will late, not wait man. for you. Once you exit the main hall, you get to the tracks, okay? There's lots of different tracks. There's, I think, 14 or 15 different tracks. We're on track number four, and I was seeing the, the sign, and it said, Zero delay on every single train. These trains do not get delayed. Just don't expect them to wait for you. You have to be here on time. I'd say be in your seat five minutes before departure. It's the best way to guarantee you don't miss the train. And yeah, look at this train right here. And here we are, cart number 18. And the best way to know where the cart is is to look to the floor. As you can see, 18, 
Right there. Right. We have like no time. The train leaves in six minutes. Let me jump on this. Try to travel light. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> right there. Yes. And this is economy class on the KTX. Very nice. Very uh, cozy, as you can see. The, it's not leather, but it's really nice, reclinable, right? Yeah. There's also free Wi-Fi on board. And look at this. Recline. You also can put your thing. Boom, right there. Not Just bad relax. for the animal class, huh? Dude, and lots of space. Like, lots of <laughs> leg room. If you're like a six foot tall person, you're good. You're good. I'm six foot feet, so. I'm <laughs> six feet tall, so. <laughs> it's too early, guys. Too early, it's not man. even six yet. We can't formulate our thoughts this time uh, of day. I can't wait to start riding. As soon as you get on the train, you'll see a section here for big luggage. So you don't bring your luggage all the way into the cart. Just put it here. Unfortunately, I'm one of those guys that travels with huge luggage, <laughs> so I have to start right here. You can and get up half of it. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's super safe here in Korea, so don't worry. You don't have to lock it up. Just put it there, and you're good. Dude, it was like 6.05 on the dot. The thing just took off. And you know what's crazy? Is we thought like this train was going to be packed. No, hardly anyone here in our section. It's like we've got like, this is almost better than first class. We've got all this room. Check it out. Oh, good morning. We've slept like an hour and a half right now. Wow. Getting up this early is really, really intense, but the good thing is when you catch a train this early, everybody sleeps. And uh, you know, the rule here in Korea is when you get on a train in the morning, even if it's like 9 a.m., you gotta be really, really quiet because everybody sleeps. And we are about to get to Busan. Uh, we have like 10 minutes to go. As you can see, the landscape here is like mountains, but not really like mountains, more like, like big hills, right? very green, lots of farming communities, lots of rice fields. And we've been through like so many tunnels, just tunnel after tunnel after tunnel. And Sam slept a lot too. Sam. I think I slept even more than you. I was out, like man, like out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was really beat. I mean, I'm still really, really tired, but I can't wait to get to Busan, have a real huge breakfast and start our day. I can't wait, it's gonna be such a great four days in Busan. We're not gonna go to Busan, we're gonna go do a few other things. You guys will see in the next videos. But yeah, going, going 190 miles an hour is amazing. It's like, you don't even feel the train. I mean, it's like shh. You know, the train does stop a few times. That's why it takes two hours and 15 minutes. If it didn't stop at all, if it just like, you know, just from Seoul to Busan, it would probably take like an hour and a half. But yeah, we do stop at a few other spots. And you know, we thought this train was gonna be empty. It was empty in Seoul, this car, but slowly, people started getting on the train. As you can see, there's a lot of people on the train right now. And yeah, people are starting to wake up. Okay, let's go to Busan. We're here. I'm hungry, dude. Yeah, I am starving. Starving, starving. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy. Traveling with this much luggage is a little nutty. This guy's like with one bag and I'm with like <laughs> the bags of bags. The Humongous. <laughs> the behemoth. As you can see, there's so many people getting off this train. I mean, it was packed 100% to capacity. I can't even believe that because I've never seen that. Even in Japan, I didn't see 100% capacity. But they they love riding the train here. We made a lot of money today. <laughs> I mean, it cost them a few billion dollars to, to start each one of these, so. <laughs> so we made it here to Busan, and as soon as we exited the train, we went up the escalators and came to the main terminal. And we're like really, really, really hungry. And we don't want to eat like donuts or some like cafe, just some regular bakery. We want some real Korean food. So we found a place that has bibimbap upstairs. We're gonna take the escalators up and we're gonna have like a traditional Korean breakfast. Oh, when, you know, when you travel, you should really dive into the food. Like really try your best to eat what the locals eat every day, all day long. I mean, that's what I do. Because you know what, when I get home, I'm not gonna be eating like this, right? So, bibimbap. Chamchi uh, kimchi bibimbap. Oh, if you make it dull, if a stone pot, it's only 1,000. Uh, dolsa. Dolsa, uh, dolsa uh, chamchi kimchi bibimbap. Dolsa. You get in a stone pot, burns the rice, it's like way more delicious. <laughs> Dude, it's our lucky day. I found us a really cool cafe on the second floor of the Busan train station. It is called Bonduk and bibimbap cafe 
and juke is the porridge. Bon is like good juke, like tasty juke. And bibimbap, man, you're gonna love this bibimbap that we ordered. We got the dulce bibimbap and the stone pot, dude. That is the boss of all bibimbaps. And what I decided to go with was a tuna and kimchi. Two of my favorite things ever. Yeah, and I'm getting a pumpkin, pumpkin porridge basically, sweet pumpkin porridge. It's uh, called upak juke. David, I'm loving breakfast, man. I got a traditional Korean porridge. It's called the Hopak Duk. It's basically like smashed glutinous rice with pumpkin. You can see how orange it is from the pumpkin. It also comes with like um, rice balls and some red beans. It's really, really tasty, really healthy, a little bit sweet. I'm gonna try some of it here. Mm. Dude, you don't even have to chew it. It's so smooth, you just put it in your mouth and overwhelms your taste buds and swallow it down. Such a delicious food, man. Oh my god, thank god this is here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the tuna and kimchi bibimbap, which is basically like a rice bowl with vegetables. Yep. So we have uh, kimchi, tuna, seaweed, uh, I think it's cucumber, some radish, mushrooms. On the side we have some more kimchi, there's a root vegetable and a soup. And the way it works is basically it comes in a stone pot. I actually paid an extra thousand for this, right? Yeah. So what Sam was telling me, like, the best thing to do is when it's sizzling, just let it sizzle, sizzle until it stops sizzling because you're burning the bottom of the rice. Okay. Tastes so delicious that way, man. Oh, I can't wait. This is the first time trying bibimbap. Got the sauce. Open the sauce, right? Okay, so the red sauce. Oh, my God. First things first, put the, oh, the oh, delicious red sauce. Oh, it looks so good, dude. It looks so rich. Oh, wow. This oh, looks man. almost like a, like a Chinese sauce, you know? Yeah. Oh, like lick it. Mmm. <laughs> oh, so oh, it's spicy. Spicy and sweet. Okay, so next up, what we do is supposed to flip the rice over everything, right? Oh yeah, you can see it's how like it's sick, burnt. crispy. See how it's crispy like that? Oh, that's the best. And then you're saying to mix it all together, right? Yeah, you just stir it like crazy until it's basically been. Uh, like you a stir it for like a minute or two until it's all mixed together. This is how I love eating. I love mixing things. Yeah. So this is like super up my alley. Wow, it's gonna be like a really hot, ricey bowl. Whoa, love the veggies in there, man. So colorful, man. And if you really don't have enough kimchi, you could just throw all the rest of the kimchi on top. <laughs> so here we go. Can I get a big spoon? Wow. Wow. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I love the burnt rice, man. That's perfect. Great. That's the best, isn't Thank it? you. <laughs> mm. Wow, it's, it's really well blended too. Now you have all these different explosions and flavors. You know, you got the, the veggie, the crunchiness, the kimchi, the spice, the seafood, the seaweed. Oh man, dude, this is amazing. I know, this is, when someone asked me, like, what's your favorite Korean food? I said, probably this. Dude, I'm blown away. Like, I'm really blown away. It's so tasty and so filling. But for breakfast, <laughs> it's like... It's a king's breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's 10 a.m. now. We've been moving for like four hours. The train ride was really, really awesome. I mean, it's a great experience. Plus, we caught up on some sleep. Yeah, we slept, <laughs> we slept a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Yeah, too, too many too many things here too many things going on but yeah i mean it, it, the best way to get to busan is by taking the ktx yeah. you know if you're going to go in economy it's like 50 us dollars 55 us dollars you want to go in first class it's around 80. yeah um this is this is like the only way i mean you can also take a slower train it'll take like yeah. triple the time a bus a bus probably four times the time that's like five you're still looking at five plus hours man yeah no that's so, too much you can also much. fly here if you want but yeah. there's no point security on yeah, what would be the point like doing going through all security like this is the best way to get here by far hands down yeah. and you arrive in a good good location in the city too yeah and then we had delicious breakfast i had the beef and bob we had the, I had the, the rice porridge the ri pumpkin rice porridge <laughs> It, it looked good. really good. I didn't try it, it but good. next time I'll try it. Yeah. Well, guys, I hope you love this video. We are about to start our adventures here in Busan. Get ready. It's going to be incredible. Yeah. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel, his channel. And we'll see you in the next childhood adventure in Busan, South Korea. Peace.